there better be a massive difference for the thousands of dollars I spent on one of you. I did not get the B&H deal. No free memory card. Thank you. Thank you for honoring your pre-order fantastic guests. No, we get nothing. XT4 versus XH2S. Which is which? I didn't look. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Is it obvious to you? They look very similar in the screen. Both in F Log 1. Identical settings. XH2S on your right. Why, hello to us all. Now, it's not slightly fair because I have an 8 to 16 2.8 here versus Zeiss Prime. It is Zeiss. So there's nothing fair about this test, but I'll show you side by side. Here's the difference. Same camera, just switching the lenses. So now you see what's the difference. Is one sharper, better colors? But this is as close as we can get right now. We both have a 12 mil 2.8 equivalent lens. And we're doing that. We're making the best of it. So relax down there. Okay, first thing I want to see, F-Log 1, dynamic range. The X-T4 looks better for some reason. I don't know why that is, but whatever. That, that shouldn't be happening. The face box has lost me. Exposure changes. Nice. Now I want to switch to F-Log 2 to see what are we getting for the $3,000 that we've spent. Okay, F-Log 2 engaged. Are we seeing anything happening so far? Colors different? Red shirt different? I've seen some things that are different. Now, you're slightly equal to the X-T4. It's hard to tell on the screen, but maybe I'll show you the scopes of what's happening. I'm sure you could grade them to be somewhat similar, but... If you're just putting a LUT on, Fuji official LUT, this is what you will get, scope-wise. We're looking at scopes. Alright, quick little stabilization and autofocus test. I do plan on turning my head at some point during this conversation. And that's where Fuji X-T4 seems to lose you. X-H2S as well. It's better, but hot damn. Hot damn if it wasn't burning my ass. Versus. XH2S, same walk, same turning action, stabilization and autofocus performed together at last. Are we all doing on this? Zeiss lens, I didn't trust the X-T4 to handle this autofocus motor of a Zeiss. I didn't realize it was it sounded like car crashes happening inside of a lens. How'd you make that happen, Zeiss? Okay, now what we've done is add digital stabe to the mix. I do believe if you're trying to vlog, you need that, even though it makes the corners even more warpy. Is this warping at 12 mil? At 8 mil, it's a laughing joke. But maybe it's working now? 12 mil, digital stabe, careful walks. I'm on even ground. There's no reason to have a heart attack right now. Looking good? I do believe so. I can hear this Zeiss motor just crashing in my hand. Versus. Fuji X-H2S, digital stabe on. Don't pretend it isn't. Our, you know what I'm noticing? Side rant. I do believe the Fuji X-H2S went for something different than the X-T4 in the sense that the X-T4 is sharper. It's a better overall camera, but X-H2S went for a cinema softness. You ever see like the Canon C70 next to anything else, like an R5, R5C, the C70 looks out of focus almost. It's because cinema pleasingness is soft. They want that. All cinema cameras have this like soft, almost out of focus look, and that's a good thing somehow. That's what they went for in this. So if you're getting this for wildlife, you want to show off the sharpness of a peacock riding a zebra, it's not your camera. Okay, now we're testing the white balance. I've noticed across brands, I'm gonna do a white balance conspiracy video. They're very different. You can set it to the same Kelvin, 
but people are interpreting what Kelvins even mean. Your mom's name was Kelvin. So we're in Astia. Same settings on both, exact, everything identical. It should look identical. It's the good yoga pose. Every last thing from the sharpness, down minus four, to color, minus two, I think. White balance, identical Kelvins. Everything identical, no noise reduction patterns. Astia, in its vivid priorities. You know what I'm thinking? We need to walk and talk. I am disappointed as hell in this for wildlife, but it's only saving grace is that maybe it's a better YouTuber camera. So like better autofocus, stave is worse, but like more dynamic range, more cinema look, okay. You might be having something for the face that is nice, or do you? But if you don't, I'm leaning towards just selling this piece of shit and then Zeiss lens manually focusing on this for YouTube, X-T4. Because we all know Sony full frame, nice for wildlife if you can manage the puke greens, yellowish green skin tones of the grass. For the skin, Sony's a piece of shit. I think we need to do a more serious battle right now in slow motion. <laughs> the slow-mo battle. I find like the Fuji's is sharper except 120p obviously HD versus 4k is slightly sharper in 4k but the 240 is much better but maybe for skin tones I don't know from what I've seen the noise pattern on this thing it's electrifying itself with every frame I don't know how they did it 38% crop the interesting thing that I have not tried did I mention that I've switched lenses now? So the Zeiss is on the Fuji X-T4. Big Mamma Jamma on the X-H2S. What was I gonna say? Oh, the mandatory crop. So you can have a 29% crop across all modes in this. So that gives 4K60 in the X-T4 a little extra boost of a crop if you need that. In this, you can do the full 38% crop, I think in all modes it should be did it lose me i felt i can feel the motors when it's losing me it's doing stuff now i swear to love so that could be beneficial in wildlife i don't know like 4k 120p with a 38 percent crop maybe it's sharper for some stupid no reason whatsoever it could be happening in this utterly pointless test we have nostalgic neg from the Fuji X-H2S. Thank you for not giving that to the X-T4 owners. We hate that. Versus classic neg. They're both neg in some way, but that, that don't look right. I got a comment the other day saying like, you idiot, you film in Eterna? You do classic neg for the best skin tones, you moron. This is the best skin tones to you. That. By the way, Mike has been in the X-T4 for a while. Did anything change in the preamps? I don't think it did. Could have. Is this pleasing to you? Classic neg. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. First nostalgic neg. Different. I kind of like it. It's just the reds go orange. I'm not sure that it's a pleasing thing, but it has its moments. There's some moments where I appreciate it. Not many, but there, you get one extra film sim. Is that worth $3,000? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Okay, last test, then I'm gonna go home, review this footage, and then do a wrap up in the studio, side by side. I saw a little Ibis jerk there, that's a bitch. This is just full HD now. I don't think I forgot you full HD homies. I know there are some of you out there. I am one of you, I am one of you. Fuji X-T4 did like fantastic 1080p. We don't know, is this better or worse? 
Let me get side litten for you. Is it better? 1080p is good for softness of the face. That's why I'm still considering a Canon C100 Mark II. I might do it. Who has the closer focusing distance? One of you. I'm gonna go home now. Okay, I lied. One last test. F-Log 2 versus F-Log 1. Exposed manually. I'm just trying... There's a metering thing there. I tried to match the numbers somewhat. Base ISO for both 640 XT4, 1250 XH2S. So that allowed me to lower the shutter speed slightly. 6400 versus 8000 and 2.8. Does one have noticeably more dynamic range? This one should. It looks like it finally does. It better. I'll go home. Now I'm walking home, I promise you that. But I was just curious. If you did the Fuji X-T4 in manual focus, F-Log, we're good. Digital state on, this could be a little vlogging setup. It's nice and wide, somewhat stable, although my movements aren't displaying that. Oh God, you could hear the sandals scraping on the cement. I left the X-H2 back near a dumpster where it belongs. I just don't think you can power box your way back and have it stable. Unless you really wiggle your hips with every walk. It's not gay. It's sassy, if anything. Perfect white balance achieved. I customed both to this light, and then, what's weird is I do that, and then if I click on one of this, say I do this in DaVinci, click, it changes it. Usually more green, and I'm like, what did you do? I don't know who to trust. I use Christmas tree lighting in August. It's one of my superpowers. So I wrote down a bunch of notes. I've just watched that whole video. The Zeiss lens is on the X-T4. Same Astia, white balance confirmed. Everything the same. Looks very different. Just because it's like three inches to the left, I'm all dark here now. What if I switch places? Now the X-T4 is a little brighter, so it was not like, I was thinking, oh, X-T4 dynamic range, so bad, oh my God. Okay, moving along. When it comes to stuff, X-T4, you exposure hunt more. You like raise and lower for no apparent reason. I noticed that when panning around, X-H2S is a little calmer, that's nice. That is nicer. The autofocus is more calm when turning the head. It doesn't panic as much. It still panics, but it's not like all the time panicking. And that is nice. So autofocus is improved. I think I see a difference between the Zeiss lens and the zoom. Slightly warmer on the Zeiss. I'm just saying. Maybe similar sharpness, maybe slightly sharper. I don't know what I'm looking for, man. The X-H2S stabilization is worse in my experience. I don't know why all the reviewers are saying, oh, it's fixed, it's so much better. How does that shot, uh, doesn't have the same effect. Why? The X-T4 seems to have a slightly warmer white balance when you're in the same Kelvins. I don't know, a lot of people prefer not being so warm. I think the X-H2 has slightly better skin tones, just slightly more basic and even toned. Although it depends what your preference is because I was noticing like, I think some people might prefer the Fuji X-T4 skin tones. They were like warmer, maybe more glowy and saturated, whereas X-H2 dims it down a bit. I think I prefer the dimmed down version. The X-T4 has slightly sharper 1080p in my viewing experience. And I don't know, man. I think X-H2S is just a more cinema style, softer look. That's what they went for. If you want sharpness, you go for X-T4. Maybe it's more digital, is it though? I don't know, I see magic when I see that. We're not even close to straight. F-Log 2 is definitely noisier than F-Log 1 in the Fuji. 
and the dynamic range is so similar it is better but in a lot of situations I feel like the XT4 will just expose for you a slightly more and like you're just not gonna see it much is it worth even shooting in like it destroys 4k 120p I have to conclude after battling these two cameras side by side for wildlife and YouTubing that the XH2S is not really worth getting for either, I think. Maybe slightly better skin tones and dynamic range if you're a diehard cinema buff and you want to be in a movie. Maybe slight edge to the XH2S. The autofocus, like, yeah, it was better, but like, for this, I could totally be in manual focus and be just fine. And the Stabe is actually slightly better. They're both shit. Terrible Stabe. You do get unlimited recording on the X-H2S. That's nice. This stops at 30 minutes. That could be problemsome. Could be problemsome. Problematic was not the right word. You don't even know English. So I'm disappointed. I still don't know. I might sell it. Some more testing is needed, but I feel like Fuji beautiful beautiful image on both but it costs money and it's awkward you slightly caught up to nikon level autofocus now not even quite yet maybe olympus level i want to cry there's always a shot in hell that fuji gives a kaizen firmware update to this and adds something interesting the 6.2k was disgusting is way over sharpened i don't know when you'd ever use that so i don't know hopefully they update the thing they probably will as soon as i sell it that's when they'll update it Piece of shit. i could get by with this this is kind of nice you should buy both of them through my affiliate links to test yourself. So I don't know what I'm doing. You'll, you might get different results. I'm gonna go home now. I'm already here. I have to leave the house actually. Thank you for watching. What do you think? Who won? I'm so sad. This is my worst purchase ever. I never buy anything new and I will never do it again. If anyone has a Canon S120 point-and-shoot camera to sell me, I do feel like starting over from scratch. I'm going to go home now. I'm already...